Now let's recall the definition of two sets A and B being equal. We said that a set A is equal to another set B if every element of A is also an element of B and vice versa, that is every element of B is also an element of A. Now to say that every element of A is also an element of B means to say that A is a subset of B. Okay, so every element of A being an element of B means that A is a subset of B. And the converse, that is stating that every element of B is also an element of A is the same as claiming that B is a subset of A. So in other words, to say that two sets A and B are equal means to say that A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. So we say that two sets A and B are equal if and only if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A. Now this word if and only if means that the left hand side, let me just call it as LHS, and the right hand side, which I call as RHS, both imply one another. That is, the left, if the left hand side is true, it implies that the right hand side is true. And if the right hand side is true, it in turn implies that the left hand side is true. So when the implication holds both ways, then we say that the left hand side is true if and only if the right hand side is true. And we can denote it alternately by this symbol. So if and only if is a two-way relationship as indicated by this arrow. The left hand side implies the right hand side and the right hand side implies the left hand side.